I know it's haram. It's about intentions. Allah knows my intention. Come on, sisters. We can do better than this. Oh, yeah, we can do better than this. Okay, something happened. It was weekend and <clears throat> kids has to come for halakha and I was there and there's one sister who came and she was like, um, Sister Khalifa, I need to see my boy. Can you please go and talk to the chef so that she can see his son? She can see her son. And I was like, why don't you go by yourself? You can go. What will happen? He will allow you. And she's like, no, you know, um, you know what I'm wearing. <laughs> so from from the beginning when she said she was like I need your help so after telling me I wanted to but when she when I said that you can do it yourself and she was like you know what I'm wearing then immediately I changed my mind oh yes you know what you are wearing is not good and you decided to wear it and on top of that, you are favoring the sheikh more than Allah. Come on, sisters. You don't think about what Allah will say. You don't think about what the angels are going to write for you. But you think about the sheikh seeing you in tight dress. That means you know what you're doing yes we can do better we should forget about that slogan of actions are judged by intentions and my intentions are good and come on you don't know better than allah who brought the verses of hijab and the prophet's peace be upon him who taught us how to dress you don't know better than them of course they know it's about intention but let's stop blaming intentions and doing things intentionally <laughs> yeah we do things intentionally and when we are cautioned we are being advised we are like oh my intentions are good come on the prophet peace be upon him taught us how to dress there are conditions before you step out of your room ask yourself is Allah pleased with what I'm wearing Stop thinking about others, what people are going to say. Oh, you are looking good. Your dress is cute. Forget about those things. Is it cute in the sight of Allah? Is it good in the sight of Allah? This is what we should ask ourselves the moment we are prepared to go out. Of course, you can wear anything you want when you are in the house. You can choose to be naked. It's in your own house. But the moment you decide to step out, if you feel lazy, you don't want to dress or you think, oh, this is just a quick one, so let me just go and come. Get a hijab, a simple abaya that you can just grab at to go the moment you want to rush to go out and do something. Wear it, it's nice, it's simple. You meet someone that you don't want the person to think otherwise of you you don't feel bad the prophet peace be upon him said if you are doing something like morality is goodness and wrongdoing is what ravers in your heart and you don't want anybody to find out so if you are doing something and you don't want others to find out it means something is wrong somewhere what you are doing either it is not good or maybe it is good that you just feel like keeping it secret that is there because something that the um as he said peace be upon him good and bad good is good bad is bad there's no in between and you're doing something good sure you know this is something good i'm doing and if it is bad to you, you know surely this is something bad i'm doing and if you don't want anybody to find out, then it means it is something bad. If it is good, you know. Let's, we can do better. Yes. 
let's stop um, um, doing things for the sake of others let's stop pleasing the creation instead of the creator anything that you do is Allah please with me this is the question we should be asking ourselves may Allah help us all and may Allah guide us to the straight path assalamu alaikum